All right, I'm Amanda Newman. I'm an English and Women's Studies major, and I'm going to graduate in 2016. Uh, women's studies as a major, I feel like I could talk a lot about what it's about, but I think the core uh, part of being a women's studies major is taking an interdisciplinary approach and applying feminist theory to uh, everything is kind of what I think we try to do. Um, a lot of people I know that have their bachelors or so on in women's studies go into a lot of nonprofit sectors, um, especially things related to uh, the empowerment and enrichment of people who are minorities. So that goes a long way for, you know, LGBT youth centers or women uh, centers, you know, the Center for Nonviolence, someone who graduated here a couple years ago, Nikki, she just got a job there. Um, and then I think a lot of the time with women's studies degrees, it is used as a second major. Um, and it just kind of shows that you uh, take a different approach to the problems that you're given because women's studies focuses on how uh, systems of privilege and oppression work together and that affects everything and everyone. I changed my major a couple times my first two years here. I was anthropology and then I was English again and then you know so on and so forth and I finally was like okay English. That was my original plan. I definitely want to major in English and then I added women's studies as a minor because I really like the classes. And then eventually it got to the point where I was like, I'm really enjoying these classes. I only have maybe like two or three English classes left. I'd rather just go for another year, enjoy the classes in the women's studies department that I can take. And it was definitely a good idea. I've learned so much more and had so many more opportunities that I definitely wouldn't have had if I wasn't a women's studies major as well as an English major. Um, with women's studies, uh, what I've done outside the classroom, my favorite thing is probably cat talk, the feminist scene that I make. Um, that is something that I definitely wouldn't have had if I wasn't a women's studies major, and I definitely wouldn't have been able to keep up on it because I've been able to use it for classes and integrate theory and uh, kind of like practice of, of student activism. And um, then this what was it, last month in November, I went to the National Women's Studies Association Conference and I was on a panel discussion talking about cat talk and student activism and uh, how you can use non-traditional means of activism, especially on campuses because, you know, activism isn't a, a line. It's just kind of like this huge conglomerate of everything you could possibly do. Um, and that was a really, really great experience. I talked with a lot of great people and got new ideas about what to do on campus, what other campuses are doing, and then also how you can take that past, you know, your undergraduate and the people there who, you know, have their masters or doctorates or just work full time, you know, in a field related to women's studies. It was great. It was a awesome experience. And I wish I would have went every year that I went to school, but <laughs> It's not completely doable. I am the president of Campus Feminists and Solidarity, and that's given me a lot of opportunity to work with the student government and work within the institution and kind of see how that works and see what I can do with kind of like that the institutional support as well as um, just student activists on their own, uh, which is great. And sometimes it's hard to find that good middle because you know, as a radical feminist. I sometimes want to be just, who cares about the institution? I don't need it. I'm better. But working with it together and intertwining it almost always is better. I won't say always, but it's, it's, a, good, it's a good thing to learn. <laughs> um, I would say if you're thinking about being a women's studies major, do it, definitely. I think the biggest backlash that I've got and kind of like what I had to overcome is people being like, what are you gonna do with a women's studies major? Like, are you gonna teach? I get that from my English major too. Why does everyone think I'm gonna teach? I'm not gonna teach. Um, but trying to be able to have confidence in yourself to use the information and the knowledge you're gonna get to do what you wanna do with it. I don't think many people get into women's studies because they like 
the abstract idea of a feminist theory. You get into it because you care about a single issue or a whole list of issues and you want to be able to use that for the rest of your life. You aren't just, you know, casually, you know, taking a class or two, which is great. And I think everyone that doesn't want to be a women's studies major should still, still take classes. But just have confidence in yourself and, and learn what you want to learn. Take the classes you want to take, not just the classes your advisor thinks you should take so you can graduate early or on time. Because if I, if I wouldn't have added women's studies as a second major, I like would have learned so much less. I wouldn't have the opportunities that I have right now. I probably wouldn't have the jobs that I have right now. Uh, like I can't even imagine what my life would be without a women's studies major. Ooh, isn't that the question? Um, well, right now I'm doing work study with the Literacy Alliance, which is a nonprofit organization that works to end adult illiteracy in northern Indiana. Um, adult illiteracy is a really big problem and I didn't know the extent of it before I got this uh, position. Um, I'm doing a social media internship right, with them right now and I'd really like to hopefully continue with them once I graduate and kind of uh, help them set up their, their online base, which is mostly what I'm doing now, uh, helping them with social media and like newsletters to people who donate and trying to get more people just aware of the organization. Ideally, I want to work it doesn't even have to be a nonprofit, an organization that I care about and feel like I want to be a part of, you know, not just for my professional career, but for my personal life as well.